look where we're going. So today me and my buddy are going up to Bass Pro Shop here. Hey guys, Chris from Redline Survival here. We're uh, actually gonna do a different kind of video today. We're actually headed to Bass Pro Shop. Oh yeah, there it is in all of its glory. We're here with uh, my friend Colin. Hi Colin. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and go into the store and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of uh, survival gear you can find in a Bass Pro Shop. Oh, I know that's gonna be bad. All right, uh, we're on our way in. All right, so here we are. We're at Bass Pro Shop, the happiest place on earth. Now we're gonna go in. Yeah, it's like grown feller Chuck E. Cheese. Grown feller Chuck E. Cheese. Now, if any of you haven't ever been to Bass Pro Shop, I suggest you go find one in your area and get there real quick. So here we are, Bass Pro Shop, walking in the door. Colin's got a thing, he's got a gun on his hip. And he's worried that he's gonna get kicked out of Bass Pro Shop. Oh, here we are. Holy. Now granted, this is uh, this is Colin's first time. What do you think, Colin? Wow, wow. Just to kind of give you a a scope of this store. This place is huge. So Colin, what do you think? You got a map of what to shoot. Oh yeah. Look at the size of this place. I mean a store that has its own waterfall right there so we got boats over here boat sails and then we got men's apparel my favorite section up there I don't know if you can see it hunting way off in the distance we've got fishing down below straight out that way got camping and smoking supplies, the restaurant and checkouts, and women's apparel. So now I'm going to take you through a couple of things and we're going to take a look and see what's here. We have fish. Look at that one that's big. It's, it's better than the one I caught in Mississippi, oh. not as long enough. Nice. No, I don't need a whole deal. So, let me get these fish. Oh yeah, and the elevator, see the elevator right there? Goes up and you can watch the fish out this way. Oh, look at that little guy. Just cruising. A store that has their own waterfall. And not just one waterfall, they have two waterfalls. So here we are at the fish company inside Bass Pro Shop, where you can get yourself a beer and a burger and anything else you want off the menu. If you're uh, even feeling like it, you can get an alligator. Oh yeah, I said it, alligator. And if you don't believe me, open up this menu. There it is. Alligator. Swamp chicken. So here it is. Alligator. From Bass Pro Shop. What do you think? Had your first? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Love alligator. Oh, 
All right, so here we are, camping section. It's pretty, pretty vast. So we're gonna look at some survival gear that you can get in your camping section at your local Bass Pro Shop. Here we go. So the first thing that we've stumbled upon is uh, life straws. Uh, those are $19.99, not a bad price for a life straw. We'll keep looking. So the next thing that we found here at the Bass Pro Shop is this uh, Lensatic Compass. Uh, six bucks, not bad, not bad. I'd prefer something like that, a Silva. Uh, that way you can get your land nav on. Uh, 50 bucks. Uh, we're looking down this way. Filtration systems, that one's not bad. Squeeze water filter. 50 bucks, uh, 60 bucks. Oh, bear spray. Definitely need the bear spray. $39.99. Bear spray? That is a big can of bear spray. All right, so say what you will, but Coglins makes some dang fine stuff for survival, and it's all relatively cheap. Camouflage paracord, $2.99. There you go. Camp mirror, signal mirror, flask. Oh yeah. Everything you could ever want right here at Bass Pro Shop. So if you remember uh, from the Sogfari uh, machete video, I called it my dinosaur hunting knife. Well, I found the perfect accoutrement for that. So you can cook your dinosaur eggs. Holy cow. How heavy is it, Colin? Not that heavy at all. Yeah? No? Yeah, alright. Not too, too bad. But uh, make yourself a dinosaur omelet. Alright, so I found this backpack. It's a redhead deer trail pack. 19 bucks. I mean, you can't, if you had a little car pack, needed something like that, it can put a hydration pack in there. Not, not too bad. It's got a lot of pockets. That'll definitely do uh, for what you need in the car. Then here we have your basic Gerber essentials. Just about every knife you could possibly think of from Gerber. Look a little bought out, but. Not too shabby. Pair of frame Tonto. I do like Gerber's. They are actually a really good knife. I'll probably be reviewing a bunch of these in my later videos. Alright, so in my previous video I showed you the SOG Fast Hawk. I found something even better. The SOG Voodoo Hawk. Why on earth would you need something this big? Maybe for the dinosaurs from earlier. Yeah, it's probably for the dinosaurs from the uh, Sog Fari Machete. So here we got uh, a bunch of standard backpacks. Not bad, 139, 149. Now you can't see that. Yeah, a bunch of different uh, bug out bags from uh, Redhead and Bass Pro Shop. So for all you Daryl fans of The Walking Dead, not exactly a crossbow, but what do you think about that one? Good Light. feel? Lightweight, Light. feels comfortable in my hand. Yeah. Sides do stick out a lot more. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's not bad with a... Too bad I won't allow you to pull back the string, $400 but... price tag, $500 price tag. Alright, so for all you uh, Daryl fans of The Walking Dead, I found what you were looking for. Nice little crossbow, shoot some zombies. Got the undercarriage for the uh, bolts. Let's see what it say on this one. 150 pound pull, 350 feet per second. So it's called the Ghost, made by uh, Barnett crossbows. Definitely worth it. Uh, 
with the uh, price tag of six hundred dollars could be all yours all right so i found everybody else's favorite favorite part of uh, bass pro shop the guns why not you got your uh, shotguns here, the handguns for all you zombie hunters. Definitely worth it. We'll keep looking here in a minute. Alright, so we've gotten to Colin's favorite place, fishing. Looks like he's going to go uh, deep sea fishing for a uh, shark or marlin or what you thinking? On. And you've heard it here fo first, folks. He wants to go whatever he can get his hooks into. So here we are, leaving Bass Pro Shop. Did you have a good time, Colin? So, yeah, just leaving Bass Pro Shop, headed back to Tucson, where I'll edit all this back together and I'll slap it out to you guys. Hope you like it. Uh, we'll talk to you soon.